for today's video I'm getting ready for taking Christmas card pictures. Me, Harry and Maury all got matching pyjamas and you get them from the family range in Primark. So you get the male, female, children and small dog. So we just got the small dog one for Maury. So I'm getting ready for that. So the palette I used, I have done a makeup look on this palette before. But I thought I'd do a little updated one. And since it's coming up to Christmas, it's a Christmas themed video. I used the Christmas in New York by Too Faced and it's the Merry Macaroons. And I just really, really like this palette so I thought I'd make another look on it. So this is the makeup look I created. So if you want to see how I created this look and us try to take Christmas card pictures, just keep watching. Don't mind my tan by the way, I've just done it and I used two products. I used the St. Moritz Wash Off Tan and then I used the 10 Minute Tan by Soleil. And I used this because I needed it like right now. And then I used this one because I was like, well, if I leave it on, when I wash the daily tan off, this might still be on underneath it. Hopefully it works and it doesn't actually look too bad. It looks a bit patchy in some wee places but it doesn't look too bad. So that's why I look a bit dark. So. So taking the Too Faced Christmas in New York Merry Macarons palette, I'm using the transition shade Dulce Delish and just working that into my crease and above my crease so everything else can blend nicely into that colour. Then I'm taking the shade Tiramisu and this is a warmer brown. I should have actually used this as my transition and then dulce the lash in my crease but we learned from it. So I'm just putting this into my crease. Trying to build up a colour but it's a warmer, softer brown than the dulce the lash. But it's always a process. Taking the shade Almond Mocha just to deepen up that outer V and really darken up the eye look all together. And I'm also blending it all out and then adding more to deepen up that outer V to make it really, really dark. Well, dark as possible with these shadows. with concealer. For the lid I'm using this glitter shimmer shade called Praline and just packing that on the concealer. I'm taking the shade Mint Chocolate just to deepen up that outer V even more and also blend in the shimmer shade to the rest of the eye look by blending this colour in. And it's a really grey kind of browny tone so it is really nice to add more definition to this eye look and I did smell the palette because it smells like vanilla. Onto my foundation, I'm using the Rimmel London Lasting Radiance in True Ivory and Classic Beige and I mixed them together so they would match my fake tan. And I used a brush to apply this. I usually use a beauty blender but I just felt using a brush today and I really liked the way it turned out. Then I'm using the Airspun Loose Powder to set my forehead before it creases. I do this a bit back to front but it works best for me. 
Then concealer, I'm using the Last Ingredients Concealer and this is in the shade Ivory and I'm just applying that onto my eyes and then blending it out. I used a brush to blend out my concealer which I never usually do but it really worked well so I did enjoy using a brush for this. Don't think I'd use a brush all the time, I would rather use a beauty blender and I think I do go to my beauty blender because it does blend out so much easier but for the most part I did like using the brush to begin with. I really wanted to brighten my under eyes so I'm taking the Rimmel London Lasting Matte and this is in the shade Porcelain so this will really brighten up my under eye because I have really dark circles and dark bags whatever you want to call them under my eye and I just can never get rid of them so I kind of sometimes need to use more than one concealer and I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender. Then going back in with the Airspun Loose Powder, I'm just using that to bake under my eyes and then powder the rest of my face. Hmm. For bronzer, I'm actually using a Poundland bronzer and it's the Good To Glow Matte Bronzer and it is such a good dupe for the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer and I absolutely love this. For a pound, who can go wrong? The palette size is amazing, it's huge and I really really like having a more of an orange toned bronzer when I've got a fake tan on so I really really enjoy this and for the pound, you can't go wrong. Then I'm just using my old trusty blending brush and blending everything out. For blush I'm using MAC Fleur Power and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and up a little bit against my bronzer. On a highlight I'm using the Mary Lou Luminizer highlight and I absolutely love it and I actually put it on before I filmed this bit because my camera ran out so I'm just applying more because who can go wrong for the highlight. For lips I'm using the NYX lip liner in deep red just to line my lips a little bit before red lipstick. I always find it's better to line your lips before red lipstick because it's the colour that shows through the cracks the most. Might just be me but that's what I think. For lipstick, this is an old favourite, it's the Maybelline New York Superstay 24 colour in the shade Red Passion and I absolutely love this, it's such a nice bright red and I love this lipstick because it dries matte but it does not dry your lips out which I absolutely love because on the other end you have a little lip balm and it's just great. Whoever came up with that invention, you're amazing. For mascara I'm using the PS Amplified for my bottom lashes because I have lash extensions on so I don't need mascara on them. And that is the makeup look I've done for taking Christmas card photos. Now enjoy us trying to take them. Are you just ready? Oh, look. Hi. Oh, no. Past that. Where are you going? So nice. So nice.
Oh yeah, I had that little way in this one. I think that looks alright. Yeah, yeah. Like we need to get his jacket on out. It's me that and it's the one my hair's an absolute mess but 